You can subscribe to support our channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Nicaragua is a country in Central America. It is officially called the Republic of Nicaragua, Spanish, Republica de Nicaragua. It has a size of 129,494 square kilometers. It is the largest country in Central America. It borders Honduras to the north and Costa Rica to the south. The capital of the country is Managua. Managua is the third largest city in Central America. It is also the biggest city of Nicaragua. Almost a quarter of the population lives in the capital city. The population of Nicaragua is approximately 6 million. The population is multicultural. The population includes indigenous native tribes from the Mosquito Coast, Europeans, Africans, and Asians. The main language is Spanish. Some native tribes on the eastern coast speak their native languages. Some of these languages are Mosquito, Sumo, and Rama. Some people speak English Creole. The mixture of cultures has created diversity in art and literature. Some famous Nicaraguan writers are Rubian Dario, Ernesto Cardinal, and Joconda Belli. The biological diversity, warm tropical climate, and active volcanoes make Nicaragua an increasingly popular tourist destination. Geography and Climate Nicaragua occupies a landmass of 130,967 square kilometers, 50,567 square miles. Nicaragua has three distinct geographical regions, the Pacific Lowlands, fertile valleys which the Spanish colonists settled, the Amerisk Mountains, North Central Highlands, and the Mosquito Coast, Atlantic Lowlands, Caribbean Lowlands. The low plains of the Atlantic coast are 97 kilometers, 60 miles wide in areas. They have long been exploited for their natural resources. On the Pacific side of Nicaragua are the two largest freshwater lakes in Central America, Lake Managua and Lake Nicaragua. Surrounding these lakes and extending to their northwest along the rift valley of the Gulf of Fonseca are fertile lowland plains, with soil highly enriched by ash from nearby volcanoes of the Central Highlands. Nicaragua's abundance of biologically significant and unique ecosystems contribute to Mesoamerica's designation as a biodiversity hotspot. Nearly one-fifth of Nicaragua is designated as protected areas like national parks, nature reserves, and biological reserves. Geophysically, Nicaragua is surrounded by the Caribbean Plate, an oceanic tectonic plate underlying Central America and the Cocos Plate. Since Central America is a major subduction zone, Nicaragua hosts most of the Central American volcanic arc. Pacific Lowlands. In the west of the country, these lowlands consist of a broad, hot, fertile plain. Punctuating this plain are several large volcanoes of the Cordillera Los Marabios mountain range, including Mombacho just outside Granada and Momotombo near Leon. The lowland area runs from the Gulf of Fonseca to Nicaragua's Pacific border with Costa Rica south of Lake Nicaragua. Lake Nicaragua is the largest freshwater lake in Central America, 20th largest in the world, and is home to some of the world's rare freshwater sharks, Nicaraguan shark. The Pacific Lowlands region is the most populous, with over half of the nation's population. The eruptions of western Nicaragua's 40 volcanoes, many of which are still active, have sometimes devastated settlements but also have enriched the land with layers of fertile ash. The geologic activity that produces volcanism also breeds powerful earthquakes. Tremors occur regularly throughout the Pacific zone, and earthquakes have nearly destroyed the capital city, Managua, more than once. Most of the Pacific Zone is Tierra Caliente, the hot land of tropical Spanish America at elevations under 610 meters, 2,000 feet. Temperatures remain virtually constant throughout the year, with highs ranging between 29.4 and 32.2 degrees Celsius, 85 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. After a dry season lasting from November to April, rains begin in May and continue to October, giving the Pacific lowlands 1,016 to 1,524 mm, 40 to 60 in, of precipitation. Good soils and a favorable climate combine to make western Nicaragua the country's economic and demographic center. The southwestern shore of Lake Nicaragua lies within 24 kilometers, 15 miles, of the Pacific Ocean. Thus the lake and the San Juan River were often proposed in the 19th century as the longest part of a canal route across the Central American Isthmus. Canal proposals were periodically revived in the 20th and 21st centuries.
Roughly a century after the opening of the Panama Canal, the prospect of a Nicaraguan ecocanal remains a topic of interest. In addition to its beach and resort communities, the Pacific Lowlands contains most of Nicaragua's Spanish colonial architecture and artifacts. Cities such as Leon and Granada abound in colonial architecture. Founded in 1524, Granada is the oldest colonial city in the Americas. North Central Highlands Northern Nicaragua is the most diversified region producing coffee, cattle, milk products, vegetables, wood, gold, and flowers. Its extensive forests, rivers and geography are suited for ecotourism. The Central Highlands are a significantly less populated and economically developed area in the north, between Lake Nicaragua and the Caribbean. Forming the country's Tierra Templada, or, temperate land, at elevations between 610 and 1,524 meters, 2,000 and 5,000 feet, the highlands enjoy mild temperatures with daily highs of 23.9 to 26.7 degrees Celsius, 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This region has a longer, wetter rainy season than the Pacific lowlands, making erosion a problem on its steep slopes. Rugged terrain, poor soils, and low population density characterize the area as a whole, but the northwestern valleys are fertile and well settled. The area has a cooler climate than the Pacific lowlands. About a quarter of the country's agriculture takes place in this region, with coffee grown on the higher slopes. Oaks, pines, moss, ferns and orchids are abundant in the cloud forests of the region. Bird life in the forests of the central region includes resplendent quetzals, goldfinches, hummingbirds, jays and toucanets. Caribbean lowlands. This large rainforest region is irrigated by several large rivers and is sparsely populated. The area has 57% of the territory of the nation and most of its mineral resources. It has been heavily exploited, but much natural diversity remains. The Rio Coco is the largest river in Central America, it forms the border with Honduras. The Caribbean coastline is much more sinuous than its generally straight Pacific counterpart. Lagoons and deltas make it very irregular. Nicaragua's Bosawa's Biosphere Reserve is in the Atlantic lowlands, part of which is located in the municipality of Siuna. It protects 7,300 square kilometers, 1,800,000 acres, of La Mesquitia Forest, almost 7% of the country's area, making it the largest rainforest north of the Amazon in Brazil. The municipalities of Siuna, Rosita, and Bonanza, known as the Mining Triangle, are located in the region known as the Ron, in the Caribbean lowlands. Bonanza still contains an active gold mine owned by Hemco. Siuna and Rosita do not have active mines but panning for gold is still very common in the region. Nicaragua's tropical east coast is very different from the rest of the country. The climate is predominantly tropical, with high temperature and high humidity. Around the area's principal city of Bluefields, English is widely spoken along with the official Spanish. The population more closely resembles that found in many typical Caribbean ports than the rest of Nicaragua. A great variety of birds can be observed including eagles, toucans, parakeets and macaws. Other animal life in the area includes different species of monkeys, anteaters, white-tailed deer and tapirs. Nature and environment. Flora and fauna. Nicaragua is home to a rich variety of plants and animals. Nicaragua is located in the middle of the Americas and this privileged location has enabled the country to serve as host to a great biodiversity. This factor, along with the weather and light altitudinal variations, allows the country to harbor 248 species of amphibians and reptiles, 183 species of mammals, 705 bird species, 640 fish species, and about 5,796 species of plants. The region of Great Forests is located on the eastern side of the country. Rainforests are found in the Rio San Juan department and in the autonomous regions of Ron and Ross. This biome groups together the greatest biodiversity in the country and is largely protected by the Indio Mais Biological Reserve in the south and the Bosawas Biosphere Reserve in the north. The Nicaraguan jungles, which represent about 2.4 million acres, are considered the lungs of Central America and comprise the second largest sized rainforest of the Americas. There are currently 78 protected areas in Nicaragua, covering more than 22,000 square kilometers, 8,500 square miles, or about 17% of its landmass. These include wildlife refuges and nature reserves that shelter a wide range of ecosystems.
There are more than 1,400 animal species classified thus far in Nicaragua. Some 12,000 species of plants have been classified thus far in Nicaragua, with an estimated 5,000 species not yet classified. The bull shark is a species of shark that can survive for an extended period of time in fresh water. It can be found in Lake Nicaragua and the San Juan River, where it is often referred to as the Nicaragua shark. Nicaragua has recently banned freshwater fishing of the Nicaragua shark and the sawfish in response to the declining populations of these animals. Economy. Nicaragua is among the poorest countries in the Americas. According to the United Nations Development Program, 48% of the population of Nicaragua live below the poverty line, 79.9% of the population live with less than $2 per day. According to UN figures, 80% of the indigenous people, who make up 5% of the population, live on less than $1 per day. Nicaragua is primarily an agricultural country. Agriculture constitutes 60% of its total exports which annually yield approximately US$300 million. Nearly two-thirds of the coffee crop comes from the northern part of the Central Highlands, in the area north and east of the town of Esteli. Tobacco, grown in the same northern highlands region as coffee, has become an increasingly important cash crop since the 1990s, with annual exports of leaf and cigars in the neighborhood of $200 million per year. Today most of Nicaragua's bananas are grown in the northwestern part of the country near the port of Corinto. Sugarcane is also grown in the same district. Cassava, a root crop somewhat similar to the potato, is an important food in tropical regions. Cassava is also the main ingredient in tapioca pudding. In the 1990s, the government initiated efforts to diversify agriculture. Some of the new export-oriented crops were peanuts, sesame, melons, and onions. Fishing boats on the Caribbean side bring shrimp as well as lobsters into processing plants at Puerto Cabezas, Bluefields, and Laguna de Perlas. A turtle fishery thrived on the Caribbean coast before it collapsed from overexploitation. Mining is becoming a major industry in Nicaragua, contributing less than 1% of gross domestic product GDP. Nicaragua's minimum wage is among the lowest in the Americas and in the world. Rural workers are dependent on agricultural wage labor, especially in coffee and cotton. Only a small fraction hold permanent jobs. The urban lower class is characterized by the informal sector of the economy. Nicaragua's informal sector workers include tinsmiths, mattress makers, seamstresses, bakers, shoemakers, and carpenters, people who take in laundry and ironing or prepare food for sale in the streets, and thousands of peddlers, owners of small businesses, often operating out of their own homes, and market stall operators. Tourism. By 2006, tourism had become the second largest industry in Nicaragua. Every year about 60,000 U.S. citizens visit Nicaragua, primarily business people, tourists, and those visiting relatives. Some 5,300 people from the U.S. reside in Nicaragua. The majority of tourists who visit Nicaragua are from the U.S., Central or South America, and Europe. The cities of Masaya, Rivas and the likes of San Juan del Sur, El Ostinal, the Fortress of the Immaculate Conception, Ometepe Island, the Mombacho Volcano, and the Corn Islands among other locations are the main tourist attractions. In addition, ecotourism, sport fishing and surfing attract many tourists to Nicaragua. Nicaragua is referred to as, the land of lakes and volcanoes, due to the number of lagoons and lakes, and the chain of volcanoes that runs from the north to the south along the country's Pacific side. Today, only seven of the 50 volcanoes in Nicaragua are considered active. Many of these volcanoes offer some great possibilities for tourists with activities such as hiking, climbing, camping, and swimming in crater lakes. The Apoyo Lagoon Natural Reserve was created by the eruption of the Apoyo Volcano about 23,000 years ago, which left a huge 7 km wide crater that gradually filled with water. It is surrounded by the old crater wall. The rim of the lagoon is lined with restaurants, many of which have kayaks available. Besides exploring the forest around it, many water sports are practiced in the lagoon, most notably kayaking. Sand skiing has become a popular attraction at the Cerro Negro volcano in Leon. Both dormant and active volcanoes can be climbed. Some of the most visited volcanoes include the Masaya volcano, Momotombo, Mombacho, Cosiguina and Ometepe's Maderas and Concepcion. Demographics
According to a 2014 research published in the journal Genetics and Molecular Biology, European ancestry predominates in 69% of Nicaraguans, followed by African ancestry in 20%, and lastly Native American ancestry in 11%. A Japanese research of genomic components in America's demography demonstrated that, on average, the ancestry of Nicaraguans is 58 to 62 percent European, 28 percent Native American, and 14 percent African, with a very small Near Eastern contribution. Non-genetic data from the CIA World Factbook established that from Nicaragua's 2016 population of 5,966,798, Around 69% are mestizo, 17% white, 5% Native American, and 9% black and other races. This fluctuates with changes in migration patterns. The population is 58% urban. The capital Managua is the biggest city, with an estimated population of 1,042,641 in 2016. In 2005, over 5 million people lived in the Pacific, Central and North regions, and 700,000 in the Caribbean region. There is a growing expatriate community, the majority of whom move for business, investment or retirement from across the world, such as from the US, Canada, Taiwan, and European countries. The majority have settled in Managua, Granada and San Juan del Sur. Many Nicaraguans live abroad particularly in Costa Rica, the United States, Spain, Canada, and other Central American countries. Ethnic groups. The majority of the Nicaraguan population is composed of mestizos, roughly 69%. 17% of Nicaragua's population is of unmixed European stock, with the majority of them being of Spanish descent, while others are of German, Italian, English, Turkish, Danish or French ancestry. About 9% of Nicaragua's population is black and mainly resides on the country's Caribbean, or Atlantic, coast. The black population is mostly composed of black English-speaking Creoles who are the descendants of escaped or shipwrecked enslaved people. Many carry the name of Scottish settlers who brought the enslaved people with them, such as Campbell, Gordon, Downs and Hodgson. There is a smaller number of Garifuna, a people of mixed West African, Carib and Arawak descent. In the mid-1980s, the government divided the Zelaya department, consisting of the eastern half of the country, into two autonomous regions and granted the black and indigenous people of this region limited self-rule within the republic. The remaining 5% of Nicaraguans are Native Americans, the descendants of the country's indigenous inhabitants. Nicaragua's pre-Columbian population consisted of many indigenous groups. In the western region, the Nahua, Pipil Nicarau, people were present along with other groups such as the Coratega people and the Subtiabas, also known as Marabios or Hokan Shu. The central region and the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua were inhabited by indigenous peoples who were macro Chibchan language groups that had migrated to and from South America in ancient times, primarily what is now Colombia and Venezuela. These groups include the present-day Matagalpas, Mosquitos, Ramas, as well as Mayangnas and Ulwas who are also known as Sumos. In the 19th century, there was a substantial indigenous minority, but this group was largely assimilated culturally into the mestizo majority. Languages. Nicaraguan Spanish has many indigenous influences and several distinguishing characteristics. For example, some Nicaraguans have a tendency to replace S with H when speaking. Although Spanish is spoken throughout, the country has great variety. Vocabulary, accents and colloquial language can vary between towns and departments. On the Caribbean coast, indigenous languages, English-based Creoles, and Spanish are spoken. The Mosquito language, spoken by the Mosquito people as a first language and some other indigenous and Afro-descendants people as a second, third, or fourth language, is the most commonly spoken indigenous language. The indigenous Misamalpan languages of Miyangna and Ulwa are spoken by the respective peoples of the same names. Many Miskito, Miyangna, and Ulwa people also speak Miskito Coast Creole, and a large majority also speak Spanish. Fewer than three dozen of nearly 2,000 Rama people speak their Chibchan language fluently, with nearly all Ramas speaking Rama K Creole and the vast majority speaking Spanish. Linguists have attempted to document and revitalize the language over the past three decades. The Garifuna people, descendants of indigenous and Afro-descendant people who came to Nicaragua from Honduras in the early 20th century, have recently attempted to revitalize their Arawakan language. 
The majority speak Miskito Coast Creole as their first language and Spanish as their second. The Creole or Creole people, descendants of enslaved Africans brought to the Miskito Coast during the British colonial period and European, Chinese, Arab, and British West Indian immigrants, also speak Miskito Coast Creole as their first language and Spanish as their second. Culture. Nicaraguan culture has strong folklore, music and religious traditions, deeply influenced by European culture but also including Native American sounds and flavors. Nicaraguan culture can further be defined in several distinct strands. The Pacific Coast has strong folklore, music and religious traditions, deeply influenced by Europeans. It was colonized by Spain and has a similar culture to other Spanish-speaking Latin American countries. The indigenous groups that historically inhabited the Pacific coast have largely been assimilated into the mestizo culture. The Caribbean coast of Nicaragua was once a British protectorate. English is still predominant in this region and spoken domestically along with Spanish and indigenous languages. Its culture is similar to that of Caribbean nations that were or are British possessions, such as Jamaica, Belize, the Cayman Islands, etc. Unlike on the West Coast, the indigenous peoples of the Caribbean coast have maintained distinct identities, and some still speak their native languages as first languages. Music. Nicaraguan music is a mixture of indigenous and Spanish influences. Musical instruments include the marimba and others common across Central America. The marimba of Nicaragua is played by a sitting performer holding the instrument on his knees. He is usually accompanied by a bass fiddle, guitar and guitarilla, a small guitar like a mandolin. This music is played at social functions as a sort of background music. The marimba is made with hardwood plates placed over bamboo or metal tubes of varying lengths. It is played with two or four hammers. The Caribbean coast of Nicaragua is known for a lively, sensual form of dance music called Palo de Mayo which is popular throughout the country. It is especially loud and celebrated during the Palo de Mayo festival in May. The Garifuna community, Afro-Native American, is known for its popular music called Punta. Nicaragua enjoys a variety of international influence in the music arena. Bachata, merengue, salsa and cumbia have gained prominence in cultural centers such as Managua, Leon and Granada. Cumbia dancing has grown popular with the introduction of Nicaraguan artists, including Gustavo Leighton, on Ometepe Island and in Managua. Dance. Dance in Nicaragua varies depending upon the region. Rural areas tend to have a stronger focus on movement of the hips and turns. The dance style in cities focuses primarily on more sophisticated footwork in addition to movement and turns. Combinations of styles from the Dominican Republic and the United States can be found throughout Nicaragua. Bachata dancing is popular in Nicaragua. A considerable amount of bachata dancing influence comes from Nicaraguans living abroad, in cities that include Miami, Los Angeles and, to a much lesser extent, New York City. Tango has also surfaced recently in cultural cities and ballroom dance occasions. Cuisine. Nicaraguan cuisine is a mixture of Spanish food and dishes of a pre-Columbian origin. Traditional cuisine changes from the Pacific to the Caribbean coast. The Pacific Coast's main staple revolves around local fruits and corn, the Caribbean Coast cuisine makes use of seafood and the coconut. As in many other Latin American countries, maize is a staple food and is used in many of the widely consumed dishes, such as the nicatamol and indio viejo. Maize is also an ingredient for drinks such as panolillo and chicha as well as sweets and desserts. In addition to corn, rice and beans are eaten very often. Gallo Pinto, Nicaragua's national dish, is made with white rice and red beans that are cooked individually and then fried together. The dish has several variations including the addition of coconut milk and or grated coconut on the Caribbean coast. Most Nicaraguans begin their day with Gallopinto. Gallopinto is most usually served with carne asada, a salad, fried cheese, plantains or maduros. Many of Nicaragua's dishes include indigenous fruits and vegetables such as jocote, mango, papaya, tamarindo, pipion, banana, avocado, yuca, and herbs such as cilantro, oregano and achiote. Traditional street food snacks found in Nicaragua include, casillo, a thick tortilla with soft cheese and cream, tajadas, deep-fried plantain chips, maduros, sautéed ripe plantain, and, fresco. Fresh juices such as hibiscus and tamarind commonly served in a plastic bag with a straw. 
Nicaraguans have been known to eat guinea pigs, known as kai. Tapers, iguanas, turtle eggs, armadillos and boas are also sometimes eaten, but because of extinction threats to these wild creatures, there are efforts to curb this custom. Sports. Baseball is the most popular sport in Nicaragua. Although some professional Nicaraguan baseball teams have recently folded, the country still enjoys a strong tradition of American-style baseball. Baseball was introduced to Nicaragua during the 19th century. In the Caribbean coast, locals from Bluefields were taught how to play baseball in 1888 by Albert Adelsberg, a retailer from the United States. Baseball did not catch on in the Pacific coast until 1891 when a group of mostly college students from the United States formed La Sociedad de Recreo Society of Recreation, where they played various sports, baseball being the most popular. Nicaragua has had its share of MLB players, including shortstop Everth Cabrera and pitcher Vicente Padilla, but the most notable is Dennis Martinez, who was the first baseball player from Nicaragua to play in Major League Baseball. He became the first Latin-born pitcher to throw a perfect game, and the 13th in the Major League history, when he played with the Montreal Expos against the Dodgers at Dodger Stadium in 1991. Boxing is the second most popular sport in Nicaragua. The country has had world champions such as Alexis Arguello and Ricardo Mayorga as well as Roman Gonzalez. Recently, football has gained popularity. The Dennis Martinez National Stadium has served as a venue for both baseball and football. The first ever national football-only stadium in Managua, the Nicaragua National Football Stadium, was completed in 2011. You can subscribe to support our channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified of new videos.